What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource. So in this vlog, I'm actually gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna give you guys a quick home tour. I haven't actually done an update since I moved in, so I figured now is the perfect time. All right, so walking in, you are greeted by the living room, and as you can see already, there are a few updates I've already done. But uh, let's go and look to the left side real quick. I've picked up this wall shelf from Ikea and kind of just mounted it above the, uh, the shoe stand and it's a really convenient way of accessing like the keys or sunglasses on your way out. So yeah, really happy with this shelf. Um, yes, there are new chairs. So this is the Ikea TV stand I picked up in black. I think it's available in white and gold as well, but it blends in really nicely with the uh, 55 inch 4K smart TV from Samsung and also the sound bar from uh, Go Groove, which really makes this room into like a theater. Uh, really happy with that, by the way. I actually did a video on it. You guys can check that out. And everything I mentioned in this video will be linked down below. A few things I have on the side are my surveillance camera. This is the Godzilla, which I can monitor my home from. It has a motion uh, detection, night vision, and also has a speaker and microphone, which I can communicate. Really awesome device there. And this is my um, Amazon Echo named Alexa. And actually a lot of you guys have been asking me on how I control my lights to do this. Alexa, turn off living room lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on living room lights. Okay. All right, so the way I hooked that up is really simple actually. What I did was I picked up a Belkin uh, Wemo switch which is a smart switch you can control with your uh, smartphone or you can connect it to Amazon Echo and you can control whatever it plugs in here. You can basically turn it off by clicking on this button or by using your app. But what I did was I hooked it up to Amazon Echo because they are both compatible and I use Amazon Echo to control that Wemo switch. So yeah, and the lights are connected to that power strip in there and that power strip is hooked up to the Wemo switch. So if that Wemo switch turns off, so do the lights. And once again, like I said, I'll link everything down below. All right, so moving towards uh, the dining room area is where I put my poker table. Let me turn the light on real quick. And uh, this is the executive poker table that you guys have seen from my office tour. We kind of play uh, Texas Hold'em on the weekends. Nothing uh, really interesting. $20 buy-ins, nothing crazy. Uh, just a really nice way to let loose grab a bottle of beer and just relax. Uh, okay, so the, to the left of that, there's the kitchen area, which has two entrances. Not sure why. And I'm not gonna really bore you guys by going over the kitchen stuff, but <laughs> there's the dining room area. Uh, wash and dryer is in there. We, I do love my booze. So we got some bottled kettle one, uh, margarita mixes. Then we got some uh, shot glasses up top. And then you got the wine glasses on the bottom with some storage for wine, which as you can see is currently depleted. <laughs> Anywho's enough about this nonsense. Let's go ahead and go upstairs where all the good stuff is. Um, this is like our bathroom. You guys have already seen this. Nothing really has changed. It's just like a half bath for guests that we use. Going upstairs is the bedroom area. This is where the magic happens. So I picked up that Ikea lamp in the corner there and I replaced the bulb with a Lithic smart bulb, which I can control using my smartphone, which is actually pretty sweet if you ask me. You can use the wheel here to change the color. You can also adjust the intensity by moving this wheel up and down, or you can just turn it off if you want it off, of course. Or let's say if you don't want any colors, you can go to the whites and you can adjust the temperature of the whites, which is actually really sweet. Normally I keep it around 25% uh, to set the mood, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, it gets extremely bright in here, as you can see, I have it set to 7500K at 100%, and it really uh, lights up the entire room. So to the left of our bed is Brianne's bathroom. I don't dare go inside here, this is her territory. And then we got the Ikea dresser, which I've been struggling on uh, fixing if you guys have been watching the vlogs recently. Last but not least, this is our queen bed. And the reason why I'm showing you the bed is because I think that comfort is extremely important 
in everyone's life. So these guys from Casper Mattress actually reached out to me and asked me if they can send me a mattress for review. And what better timing because honestly, I was in need of a mattress. I had my previous mattress for like five to six years now and I've been tossing and churning these past few months and I think it was just time for me to upgrade. This mattress is super comfy guys, like as soon as I slept on it for one day, I definitely knew that I was going to replace my old mattress. So basically what makes the mattress so comfortable is that it's made out of two materials. We got the memory foam which provides contouring support to your body and then you have the latex foam which keeps you cool and adds a healthy bounce. The best part about the shopping experience is that you guys can try it out for 100 nights for free with no hassle returns if you're not happy with it. Oh, by the way, these mattresses are super affordable because they actually sell directly to the consumers. Honestly, if you guys have trouble sleeping at night or are looking to upgrade your mattress, definitely check these guys out. You do get 100 nights for free, so you don't have to worry about it if you don't end up keeping it. But if you do decide to fall in love with a mattress like I did and decide to pick one up, you guys can use the code SLEEP2 to get $50 off of your first mattress. I'm going to leave a link to their website down below so make sure you guys click on it and also the coupon code down below. But yeah, that's basically my room. So enough about that. Let's go ahead and move on to the good stuff. I'm not going to show you my <laughs> storage because it's still the same. Nothing has changed. So yeah, this is basically the master bathroom which is the one I use because Brian has her own. I uh, got a walk-in shower over here, got a tub which I never use, two sinks which I only use one. And then this is the headquarters. I will wait till the white balance adjusts. There we go. So this is the headquarters. A um, lot of things have been changed. So that is my setup. You guys have seen this many times. This is where the magic, well, the other magic happens. I'm currently rocking the um, single Titan X right now until I redo my entire PC build. Or I should say build an entire new PC build. Hopefully later this month or January. Got my ultra wide on my flex mount, which I've shown you guys before on my setup video. Really sweet thing. I've actually never told you this guys, but uh, the reason why I have my civil pay button on the top of my workstation is because I always look to it for motivation. It kind of tells me that I've accomplished something and that I'm in the right path. So every time I'm feeling down or I just don't have the motivation to continue, I just look at that for a few seconds or even stare at it for a minute and I'm back at it. But yeah, when I get my uh, gold play button, which is when I pass 1 million subscribers, that's definitely gonna replace that. And I'm gonna have to redo the foams because it's a much bigger uh, plaque. Over to the right, I have my iPad Air 2, custom painted by Colorware. Also has a little engraving down there for my channel, which is pretty sweet. Moving over to the right side, I have the docking station for my smartphones, which honestly, I've been slacking. I haven't been doing much uh, smartphone content, mainly because it just bores me. Honestly, it, it depresses me every time I look at a smartphone. It's just, I've done so much in the channel before, but now I'm trying to transition into PC gaming and just other technology related reviews and videos. Not so much smartphones, but once in a while you guys will see it pop up. Down here I have done the famous modification, the uh, slideable drawer. Got the best power bank in the world. This thing charges my iPhone 200% from zero like in an hour to two hours really fast. I actually featured this in a cool tech video along with these awesome uh, rechargeable batteries. These have 2800 milliamp hour each and uh, they actually last longer than actual AA batteries, which is pretty sweet. And they do make uh, AAA batteries as well, but every time they run out of juice, I hook it up to the charging bay and I juice it up. Uh, but yeah, got my laptop on there, nothing really interesting here, unboxing knife. Keep it nicely hidden there. Small modification to the wires, as you can see, put it in a little e-box, which kind of cleans up the power strip, which is pretty sweet. Got the filming gear on that side. I've already did a video on that stuff, so you guys can check it out if you want. Got my filming desk, and then the alternate editing station, AKA Bob station, which he hasn't really been doing much recently. But as you can see, it's missing a PC right now. That's gonna change soon. So over on this side is basically where my uh, wireless printer rests, which is the Canon. Pixma MX922, by far one of the best wireless printers I've ever bought. Uh, my mom's printer actually broke down and I gave her mine and then I went in and bought another one for myself because 
Not only do you save a lot of money on the ink cartridges, but it also prints out really nice uh, image quality. On this side is my filming gear. Usually I keep my lenses, my recorders, and then below that in this little suitcase. And then here is basically some uh, battery packs I have, the wireless controller for my uh, slider, and a bunch of other stuff that I use from time to time. Uh, yeah, I think that's basically it for the home tours for a long time. I'm gonna go back to the usual vlogs after this. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.